Hello and welcome to this edition of the Coaches Show here on November the 12th here in here at Eagles Ice Center as uh, we're sitting down with Coach Tyler Catalan once again for the Coaches Show ahead of the team's matchup against the Calvin Knights. Well, Coach, last time out your team had a great showing outscoring University of Michigan Flint by a grand total of 19-3 to in the two-game series. Uh, it could have been more, but it seemed to us, at least in the booth, that the Chips played down to the competition in the first 40 minutes of that, of that second game, only scoring two goals in that span. How do you avoid that phenomenon going forward in this season? Yeah, we, we, you know, first game we started off strong, put up 12, I believe, you know, and just kept going. And, yeah, I mean, we talked about that after the first and second period that, you know, we were, we were playing down Flint's, uh, you know, game. And, you know, we, we only really played about seven minutes of hockey, it felt like, in that second game. I mean, we scored two goals in the first period and then scored five in the final five minutes of that game. So... Hopefully we play a full 60 minutes today. I mean, Calvin's a good team. They're ranked 11th in the nation, and you know they're, it's going to be it's going to be a test today. Yeah, you mentioned that ranking. This is your first opponent that is that has been ranked in the top 25 since those rankings came out at the end of October. What do you expect from that Calvin team tonight? Yeah, you know, they're going to be coming out flying. They're going. I mean, they're ranked 11th for a reason. So. You know, we got to match their intensity, you know, play at their home ice. You know, everyone plays harder at their home rink. So we got to come out flying like, you know, we do every Friday. I mean, it feels like every Friday we come out flying, you know, and we always struggle on the second game. So hopefully we come out, put up a few quick goals this, you know, today and, you know, go from there. Yeah, and uh, one of those players that you might look uh, to help you at least not only on the forward end of things but also the defensive side. Kyle Chapman had a great series last weekend not only getting a couple of points but also was great on the defensive side of the game getting into the passing lanes, disrupting uh, disrupting uh, scoring chances for, uh, for the Wolverines but also generating some for the maroon and gold. What's it like having a guy that works uh, as hard and plays with the grit like Kyle does? I'll try Chappie's a good defenseman. I mean, he's solid. You know, he stays at home. You know, we, it, all, not only just Kyle, but all, all six of our D are just solid guys. I mean, they they've really played well this year. You know, they've been together for you know a few years now. So they, you know, everyone's working hard. I mean, but yeah, Chappie Chapp had that slap shot. You know, got us got us going. You know, last Friday, so that was nice to see him score. The guys were pumped up to see that, and yeah, his his block ability. I mean, even in practice, you know, dude's always taking shots to the shins and you know everything. I, I I'm starting to almost tell him to not even come to practice because he takes more shots during practice than he does during games. So I don't need him injured, you know. But uh, we're. He's, he's an exciting guy. He's, he's a good kid to have in the locker room, and you know everybody enjoys having him. And we enjoy watching him and the rest of the Chippewas from up in the broadcast booth. Well, thanks, Coach, for sitting down with us uh, tonight. That will do it for our Coach's Show. This is Reagan Cleaves with CCHN.